Good day, everybody. I'm Shmi, and I make guides for Path of Exile's Ruthless Mode. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Yesterday, I got angry. See, I was doing some Atlas progression on Frosty, and I botched a temple because I messed up the initial incursions because I disconnected. Then I did about an hour of Delve and just got absolutely nothing. And then about an hour of maps that were slow just had nothing worth keeping. The worst was that I kept dying just often enough to reset the experience progress I'd made. So I took a break to think about it. I just felt like, like I was doing something wrong. And I had an epiphany. I'm still playing a league starter. Why am I surprised that my progression is slow and grindy? I mean, don't get me wrong, Cold Dot can be very powerful, but there are far more powerful options in this game. Now that I've farmed up various items, I've earned the ability to break Ruthless. So I ran back to my hideout, and I checked through all of my farmed up gear and my farmed up support gems. I immediately noticed a whole lot of poison and ailment supports. I didn't have the multiple projectiles things that you need if you want to enable toxic rain to be really good, but I had everything to make poisonous rain of arrows into an entirely new level of craziness. The build I'm leveling up now is a variation on my Proa Assassin. If you'd like to see that build, the link should be popping up top right now. In addition to the main rain of arrows that he uses, he's going to be running a second rain of arrows to be triggered by the Mana Forged Arrows support. Originally, I even had a third rain of arrows attached to the Ballista Totem support, but I found a different option that I think is even better. Shrapnel Ballista can shotgun or have all of its projectiles hit the same target. If I then add in the Aero Nova support, then it's capable of shotgunning from a distance with four additional arrows. Oh yeah, and Herald of Agony. And also, uh, Grace. I don't even really need to explain those further. They're really good, and I have them turned on. Auras in Ruthless? Hell yeah. And friends, I gotta be honest. After struggling through the Ruthless campaign so many times, it feels really good to jump right into an overpowered build just like you would in Standard League. After getting slapped around so many times, flying through these beginning acts is incredibly gratifying. But I haven't even mentioned the best part yet. This build, it reaches for the keystone iron reflexes early on. I've skipped almost all of my damage passives. What you're seeing here is the lowest of the low point of this build's damage. You see, here on this channel, I do my best to show you all how to get ready for Ruthless. What's coming up is going to be a little bit different. I got angry, and I'm done playing fair. I've farmed what I need, and I've earned the right. It is time to destroy Ruthless. From here on out, I'll show you what it looks like when Ruthless is not ready for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.